Here is a Lasco 2002W VN. There is a version of this VN sold under the Air Queen brand. It costs considerably more, but it has a grounded plug and a metal guard. And I think it's otherwise the same. I bought this a number of years ago. In fact, I bought several of them. I had read reviews on these for a while, and there was a strong consistency of people reporting them to be a quiet fian, which I really like. I can't stand loud fians. So I says, well, let me give it a shot. I didn't really have high expectations because it's all plastic, and usually the plastic fans aren't that quiet. And what a lot of people find quiet, I would find kind of a noisy. So I got it and I was absolutely impressed by the noise level and the air output of this fan. It's very seldom that I pick favorites or anything like that, but I think this is very easily the best six inch desk fan I know of. It is so quiet and it lasts a long time. It's very easy to clean and it moves a good amount of air too. It has this thing on the front there. You're supposed to put papers, clips or whatever into it. I think that's kind of useless, but whatever. Here's the back of it. The only thing I don't like about these fans is the speed control. I find it a bit difficult to use because it takes a fair bit of force to turn it. And if it's sitting like this, you kind of almost need two hands. You can do it, but it's not the greatest. But it's very clearly labeled. It has a little handle, which is also not great, but it, you know it works just fine, especially if you pick it up like that. It has tilt adjustment, so we can angle slightly down or back like that, or anywhere in between infinitely. There's no, uh, I don't think there's a date code on there. Here's the informations, which are pretty much invisible. Oh, there you can kind of see them. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. 0.25 amps. The focus. It's uh, ETO and UL standards rated. It's got two kind of rubbery feet in the back, but just plastic on the front. Here's the other information's tag, which is much more visible. And then there's the Lasco model tag. This particular model has been in production for quite a few years now. I think we're going close to two decades of this model. I'm glad to see that it is still under manufacture because it's excellent. This is a standard at my computer desks. I have these things everywhere. They're also good in the bedroom at night because they're so quiet. The cord is awfully stiff on this one and it holds its memory to where it was, which isn't really a big deal if you have an outlet nearby, but if you don't have an outlet nearby, it can kind of pull the fan off the table because uh, it's a very lightweight fan. And it, of course, has the infamous uh, fuse plug ordeal from Lasco. And it's non-replaceable fuse, but in Lasco's defense, I have never seen one of these fuses blow. So even though I think it should be replaceable, it doesn't seem to be... Uh, a situation where 
fans are getting tossed because it's blowing and people can't replace it. So you can see here I'm fighting a bit with the cord. It really is a pretty stiff cord. All right, so we're looking at 120.7 the volts. Go over to amps. It is a shaded pole motor, so it's not the most efficient thing out there. But I think most of the fans like this are shaded pole. I can't really think of any offhand that are PSC. Although if they put a little PSC motor in there, I think this would be a lot better. So let's start off on the low. Make sure the wind noise isn't on the camera. So there it goes. As you can hear, or rather as you can't hear, it is a very quiet fan. And it's only drawing 0.14 amps, so it's not a lot of power. 14.4 the watts with a power factor of 0.80, which is pretty good for a, a shaded pole. Now, the air output is uh, very gentle. But what's nice about it is it seems to carry a pretty good distance. So pretty reasonable air output, pretty gentle. I'm going to pick up the camera. I'm going to move back here. And you're going to see that even all the way back here, we're still getting a pretty considerable draft. And we're about five feet away from the fan now. I'm going to go back as far as I can, as far as the junk will permit me to do so. And you can see, even all the way back here, there's still a considerable breeze. And we're all the way across the room. This is a good 10 feet from the fan. It really, it's, I can feel it. It's pretty significant still. And it's a very calm and gentle breeze. It's extremely pleasant. The blade balance is pretty reasonable. It's not in perfect balance, but it's well within reason. I don't think it's going to be shaking all over the table or anything crazy like that. All right, now I'll go up to the two. And you can hear it in the two. It definitely becomes audible. But it's still within a very reasonable level. At number two, it draws 0.19 amps. 19 the watts and a power factor of 0.8 so that hasn't changed at all and it's putting out a pretty strong breeze now and again we'll go all the way across the room here and you're going to see that all the way across the room we have a pretty strong breeze and this is this is 10 feet away from that thing and it's still moving a considerable amount of air <laughs> so very impressive distance on the airflow and a very reasonable noise level Go back to low again just for comparison and it becomes pretty much inaudible it's not at all uncommon i will leave one of these on accidentally for days at a time because i'll be sitting at my computer where i have it and i have it on low like this and it's keeping me comfortable at the table and i'm not hearing it and i'm not hot so i'm not thinking about it and i just forget it's even there which I think is really a good way to tell that you have a really solid product when it does its job to the point where you don't even notice it's doing it. Because if this was loud or vibrated or something, I'd, I'd be noticing it. But the fact that it's so quiet and so effective, you don't even notice it, really goes to show how good of a fee and it really is. So now we'll cut it off. 
and that will conclude the video.